Dot Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do this cute little Christmas quickie gift. This is like a last minute gift that you have that you can do. It works up super quick, like maybe half hour, 45 minutes. Really super quick. It's just this basket weave cup cozy or mug cozy. And I used a Christmas button to give it a little bit of an embellishment. So this cozy is made, I used my scrap yarn. I used this ball of, I believe this is a Car leftover Karen one pounder. It's 100% acrylic yarn. It's a medium four worsted weight yarn. I used a G hook, 4.0 millimeter hook. So you'll need a, a crochet hook. I had two buttons. These are about inch, a half inch, three quarter inch buttons. Any button, any kind of button will do. You'll want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and if you're going to use a little uh, embellishment like this, this has some really tiny holes in it, you'll want a sewing needle and some thread. So once you grab all of your items, you just grab your hooks, grab your yarn, and let's just jump right into making this last minute Christmas quickie basket weave Cup Cozy. To start our Mug Cozy, we're going to start with a chain of 39. Flip your chain over and we're going to work in the back bars of the chain. We're going to go second chain from hook. So this first bar right here is your first chain. The second bar would be your second chain. Slip your hook into that bar and do a single crochet. We're going to do a one single crochet into each one of those bars of the chain. All the way down the chain. You should end up with 38 single crochet at the end of this row. Continue placing one single crochet into each one of those stitches all the way down the length of the chain and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the chain. I'm at the end of row one. We have 38 stitches. To start row two, we're going to chain up two and turn the work. Your chain two does not count as a stitch. We're going to place a half double crochet into that very first stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next 36 stitches. So just one double crochet and the next 36 stitches. That should bring you to your last stitch so you'll have one stitch left and that one will be a half double crochet. I will meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row two and my last stitch right here on the end is going to be a half double crochet. To start row three, we're going to chain up two, again does not count as a stitch, turn the work, and place one half double crochet right into that first stitch. Now for this row we're going to be working in sets of three. So our first set of three is right here and we're going to work those as front post double crochets. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook around the front, the first post from the front, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull up your loop, and complete your double crochet. That is a front post double crochet. Repeat that for the next two stitches. Just like that. Now our next set of three, we're going to be doing back post double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert your hook from the back 
to the back, pull up your loop, and complete your double crochet. Yarn over from the back to the back and complete your double crochet. The back posts are a little trickier than the front posts, but once you get the hang of it, it's not it it goes by really quick. So yarn over the hook and repeat that for the third post for the third stitch. Now the next set of three, we're going to do front post. Oh, I've got a knot in my yarn. Bear with me just one second. Do, do, do. How did this happen? Okay. That's embarrassing. There we go. One more. Now, next set, back post. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way down the, the row and your last stitch is going to be a half double crochet. Throughout this pattern, first stitch and last stitch is always a half double crochet, except for that first row and the very last row. The, that row will be a single will be a row of single crochet. So continue doing front post for the three next three and then three after that will be back post and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row three. We still have 38 stitches. We're going to half double crochet in that last stitch. Chain up two and turn the work. For row four, we're going to half double crochet in that first stitch. Now that, and then we're going to come to our first set of post stitches. These are front posts. We're going to do the opposite of what we see. So now we have front post, we're going to back post in those stitches. So we're going to come around the back and back post in them. So we're going to be doing back post double crochets in those first three set, that set of three. Our next set is back post. So we're going to front post in those. So wrap the hook, go around the front post, and front post double crochet. Just like this. Now next set, our front post, so we're going to back post in those from the back. Just like so. Front post and, or excuse me, sorry about that. 
we're going to front post. These are back post stitches, so we're going to front post in them. And it's just that easy for this repeat. So you're going to back post in the next set, front post in the next. Repeat this all the way down to the row. The last stitch will be a half double crochet. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row four. We still have 38 stitches. And we're going to half double crochet into that last stitch. To start row five, we're going to chain up two turn the work. For row five and row six, it's a repeat of row three and four. So here we go with a half double crochet in that first stitch. Our first set of three will be front post double crochets. So yarn over the hook, insert the hook from the front, yarn over, and complete your double crochet. If you forget if you're supposed to do a front post or a back post, just do the opposite of what is already there. That's the easiest way to remember. Here you have front post, you do back post. That's just if you get lost and you forget, that's the easiest way to, to remember and get right back on track. And here you have back post, and you'll do front post. So finish round, excuse me, finish row five and then repeat row four for row six and I'll meet back up with you at the end of row six. I'm at the end of row six. We still have 38 stitches. To start row seven, we're going to chain one and turn the work. For row seven, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row seven. We still have 38 stitches. We're going to start the edging so we don't fasten off yet. We're going to chain two and turn the work upright. And this chain two is going to help us round the corner. And then evenly place. 10 single crochets going down the edge of your cozy. So just kind of pick spots here where you can put a single crochet in and just kind of evenly space them out so that you have 10 single crochets going all the way down to the end and then fasten off when you get down to the bottom edge. Once you have your 10 stitches along the edge, you can fasten off. Don't worry if you've got 11 stitches or you have 8 stitches. It doesn't matter. As long as you have, remember how many stitches you did along this edge, that's the important part so that you can put the same number of stitches on the other side to keep your cozy balanced. So put a slip knot on your hook. And with the right side facing up, Attach your yarn in the corner, 
on the opposite side. Now we're going to chain up eight to start. This is going to be a button loop. So you're going to insert your hook right back into that same stitch and slip stitch. So now you have a button loop on the top there to hook your button for your cozy. Now go ahead and start placing your single crochets along this side here. You want to try to get you want to try to get your single crochets into the stitches, not actually around the stitch. So kind of like get into that thread there like that. So I got ten. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and Now we're going to do another chain eight on this end too for the other button. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and slip stitch right back into that la that for that last single crochet that you made. So we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch right back into that one. Just like that. And then we can fasten off. And we're going to get these ends woven in. And then we're ready to get our buttons put on. Sorry, you can see the, in the camera there. Let's back it out there. So now we're just going to get these ends all woven in and then we're ready to get our buttons sewn on and any embellishments. Hey, here's my Mug Cozy with my buttons sewn on to one end and I use this little ceramic uh, wreath button here for an embellishment and I'm just going to take a mug and just put the Cozy right on it for you so you can see what it looks like. Bear with me just one second. I have to pull it off camera just for a second here so that I can get the cozy onto the mug. You just put your buttons and pull the loops over. I just couldn't quite do that on camera. So here is the cozy on the mug and a little embellishment there and you have your buttons here. So if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye bye.